The acting secretary of the Army and the sergeant major of the Army visited Research Triangle Park in North Carolina June 29th to learn about Army science and technology investments in the future force. Acting Secretary Robert M. Speer and Sergeant Major of the Army Daniel A. Daly met with scientists and engineers and learned about the mission of the Army Research Laboratory from its director, Dr. Philip Percanti. So when we look at the totality of where the Army wants to go, what concepts we're thinking about, the first thing we do is we ask ourselves, what are the knowledge gaps? And that's how we get after our foundational research programs to address those knowledge gaps. What we call it is use-inspired research. Scientists also showcase their partnership with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to explore solutions to help soldiers in need of prosthetic devices. This is a design that allows amputees of various kinds all to be able to get a solution that works. Um, the other big breakthroughs we've had are in terms of an adaptive socket that would allow someone to wear this for an extended period of time, eight hours kind of time frame. Research Triangle Park is where the lab's Army Research Office acts as a guiding hand for university research that may uncover the next big thing in technology to make soldiers stronger and safer. The critical thing that ARO brings is access to the tremendous resource we have with university professors. Yes, I think the Secretary left feeling very optimistic with an increased, even more enthusiastic understanding and appreciation of what long-term basic research brings to the Army's fight, current and future. The leaders told the researchers that the work done at the laboratory is held in high esteem. So it's great to see the excitement and, and the results and or the thought processes going on. So I wanted to come down here and at least on the way, thank you guys and, and let you know it's appreciated. From Durham, North Carolina, David McNally, ARL-TV. Okay.